audit review of the employment records of the school revealed that, that's the law school, that the school carried out employment in year 2013. However, the management of Nigerian law school could not produce any approval from the Federal Character Commission for how the employment meet during the period. No explanation was provided by the management for not reflecting federal character principle and due process in employing staff, non-compliance with government laid down processes and procedures for carrying out employment rendered the engagement of the concerned staff invalid. Mr. Chairman, sir. Further to your letter dated 29 July 2020, requesting for the documents as contained in the letter in 45 copies, we have exactly done that, forwarding all the documents that uh, relate to the recruitment exercise between the Federal Character Commission and the Nigeria Law School in 2013. Sir, the process actually began in 2012 when the federal, when the Nigeria Law School applied to recruit, applied for a waiver to advertise to recruit 10 staff. There are one audit, one, sorry, two for works and services, five administrative staff, and two medical. Further to that letter, there was no activity. Again, on the 16th of January 2013, they wrote back again, requesting for a waiver not to advertise to recruit 12 staff. The commission granted that approval because the number was limited, because it was just 12 to fill existing vacancies and due to the urgency of the situation. That approval was dated 31st January 2013. Again, on the 4th of March 2013, the Nigeria Law School again wrote that uh, we should send a representative of March 2013. And the commission was duly represented at that exercise. Again, sir, on the 15th of March, 2013, the Nigeria Law School again wrote to the commission requesting that they wanted one additional candidate to fill a vacancy they did not mention. The letter was signed by Max Uba E.O., Acting Secretary to the Council of Legal Education. The commission there's no record in the file whether that approval was granted. Yes, but uh, on the same 8th, 15th March, they forwarded a list of the candidates that were interviewed, that is 13 candidates. The commission certified it as having complied with the federal character principle in terms of uh, spread and a certificate of compliance dated 26 March 2013 was granted. It was uh, duly received, and uh, these are the documents we have in our custody in relation to that uh, exercise. You are required to forward the short list, the short list of candidates to be invited for interview. But this submission, there is no Letter to that effect. That page what, sir? Page? No, no, sir. Page four. Page four. Page four. Okay. The only letter now accompanying it is just the waiver which you granted. But you are supposed to have seen the shortlisted candidate before granting of the waiver. And then when you go to page, is it six? Successful candidates at the interview conducted on 5th of March 2023. Page seven. Is that page seven, I think? Yes. I, we all believe that Federal Character Commission is the agency saddled with the responsibility 
of ensuring compliance with the federal character principle. But when I look at the list, and the federal character says they have complied, hence they give them certificate of no objection, the waiver for them to go ahead and recruit. When I look at the list, look at North Central. North Central, you have almost six or seven states. But in this case, it was only Quara, Quara, Quara that represented North Central. When you go to Northeast, I'm coming. I'm coming now. When you go to Northeast, Adamawa, 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 Adamawa. And I'm sure there are other states within that geopolitical zone. It goes like that. Exactly. And even if it is one one you are trying to eat geopolitical zone, you will have said yes because the vacancies are limited. It could not go around with that six states and the FCT. And in view of that, you are recruiting on the basis of the geopolitical zones. Therefore, each state within a zone will have gotten one one slot. But in this case, the reverse is the case. Why? For the student died, the reason why we invited Federal Character Commission, we do not visit the body or invite any agency except we have lawful legislative reason for inviting such an agency. So it was because of this query, and we have the defense presented by law school. But to get to the root, to the facts of the matter, that was why we invited the Federal Character Commission to come with relevant documents to clear this case. In any case, what we did in our wisdom was to set up an ad hoc committee under the leadership of uh, Honorable Sokodabo Hassan, Honorable Dutte Ibrahim, Honorable Luka, and Honorable Princess Onoa. My colleagues, Chief, let me see. Uh, Secretary, uh, in line with what the previous speaker has just stated, can we say that Federal Character Commission has discharged its responsibility based on this particular approval given to this agency, taking into consideration that, one, no list of applicants were forwarded to you, you did quite didn't present any, and you went ahead and give one state in a zone five employment slots out of 13. Give one state in the North Central three <coughs> slots. Give the other three zone one one. Is that the principle of federal character as, as enshrined in our constitution? Do we say that the officer who did this is not liable for prosecution? Uh, Secretary, sir. If you look at your document, let us start from page one. <coughs> if you sum up the total number of people you requested for here, mm. it seems to be 10. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. OK, let's go to your next page, page two. How many vacancies are there? It's, it's, yeah. it's 12. Page two, is that 12? Yes. Okay, so I'm wondering, because you made a reference to your letter, which is informing these vacancies, because you seem to be increasing the vacancies without prior approval or proper communication. Then let us go again to page uh, four. It says that the Federal Character Commission now writing to the legal study says 12 staff. That is your document now. It says 12 staff. Is that correct? <laughs> but then look at what you now finally stamped on. Successful candidates at the interview. How many staff are there? Sir, Chairman, Subcommittee Chairman, you please bear in mind the lamentation of the DG of Nigerian Law School over inadequate personnel in the various branches of the law school. 
please, it is very clear. If, let's use a stone to kill two birds so that we can kill and uh, this lacuna and make sure that this prestigious institution is, is adequately manned. 